Episode 7 of Warsaw! So, we're getting a uh, superior command ability with our officer. We lost Wanda last episode to a text event, but in the end, it was my choice whether I chose to celebrate or not, so I have to accept that as my own fault. As much as, as bullshit as that is, to lose a character who is in recovery in the medical ward for a celebration, um, it, it happened, so that's that. That is also why we will never give Jadwiga a mission off, because that can happen. You can go back to the previous episode for context if you like. Uh, what we got here, so... Uh, let's take more crit. Now that that's all maxed out, we'll start boosting max HP. Jadwiga? Uh, we will equip her ongoing care skill now, and then remove the double down. We don't really need the double down. And now you'll see, like, the extreme power creep with this character. It's disgusting. Uh, you could even take stamina cost down, use that on Kristoff, and then use three rocket launches in a single round. Like, that's retarded. And then to have Helen to support him with all of the heavy ammo he wants, boy. I really do hope we get Helen. I really miss her a lot. So, we're gonna just go straight up max HP on Jadwiga. It decreases the chances that she's going to die. And also, to take note, it does recover some of their life. Some of their max life capacity. So we got full crit and accuracy buffs on two of our damage dealers. And we've got our main support skill for an additional command, and we can get back into formation. We can force back and clear shot. So he's our way of utilizing our small ammo offensively. And we've got a couple of buffs. No quarter. Hmm, applies blind. I might like that. To two enemies? Kill shot. Wow, look at that crit chance. Plus 44%. That's nuts. Oh, I can't hit the back rank. All resistance is up. Tenacious stand. Eh. At this point, it'll take away one of our skills from us, so I don't really want to do that. 14 to 22... Eh, I think I'll keep my force back because it can be used from the third rank. This can only be used from the first and second ranks, but in exchange for that, it can hit all four ranks. But I think I'd rather use this because most of the time I'm only pushing them back to get them to the third or fourth rank. And it deals more damage, and it ignores cover too, so... Ignoring cover is very important, especially at rank 1 and 2, as well as rank 4. Enemy position, not the position of the obstacle. We don't need any more recruits. Uh, let's repair this machine gun. The Bren. Crossfire. Holy shit! I didn't think we'd find a machine gun with that ability so early. Uh... The Bren, yes. This is the BAR, but this is the Bren. <laughs> it completely ignores cover, and it does. It can hit four separate enemies. Hey, 
you know, I think we can take a five accuracy reduction for that. I don't, I don't think that's too bad. Man, it takes nine ammo though. down that was 19 to 26 12 to 16 much higher chance of critting almost double or more than double actually accuracy is the same for onslaught versus but we ignore cover and that's really good yeah I'm taking this I'm taking this Bren we're not going to take Onslaught, though. Okay. Uh, Kristoff, max HP, for, for sure. Resilience is really good for reducing the amount of damage you take, but the problem with resilience is it doesn't work for text events. Text events are just flat damage. So now you can see he's got 30 max HP, 30, 30. So everybody's a little bit better now. We spend up everybody's skill points. Yeah, we spent everybody's skill points up. So uh, to be safe, I'm going to get Jadwiga her final max HP upgrade. She's very important. There we go. There's nothing else that I need post haste. I could take no quarter, but that would leave me unable to target the back rank. With this guy. Which we push enemies to that rank regularly. Uh, do we have any excursions? Yes, we do. So. Alright, so let's sell this DP. We don't need this Blas Viga. That's her weapons. Wanda. Alright, so let's see what we can do next. A building of strategic importance. We'll get the Talon. A 1-2 in target acquired. We don't really need that, but the armor penetration on that is amazing. Intercept a high-risk Nazi patrol. Repelling fire and puncture shot. I think we can actually use this for our officer character. But... The morale really dropping it. Two, two. You've got 90. This would be a really good weapon. That puncture shot would be so good for ignoring resilience. Um, the talon would be good for armor piercing. I don't know. This place is under a lot of pressure. Oh no, it's got the max morale of 75. Okay. This is 49. That's 54. I don't know, some places will fall. And we're not trying to save every single place. It'd be great if we could, but that would require a lot of save reloading over and over and over just to get good expeditions. Or, I'm sorry, uh, uh, what is it? Excursions. So, uh... Wait, this is three days for a thousand EXP? The fuck? Hey, you know what? Fuck it. I think we'll just take a three day mission. We don't have a lot of different heroes to select from, so we can make this brief. One med kit. Four, 
five, six, seven, seven med kits. There we go. That's about enough small ammo and long ammo for a mission this short. We have plenty of space to engage the enemies and steal their supplies. And we've got plenty of heavy ammo to soften them up. Uh, let's take some more, why not? I'm gonna be blasting the shit out of them anyways. This next mission is for Wanda. First thing. Expected a battle, but uh, that didn't happen. So now we have both of Jadwiga's healing skills equipped, ongoing care and soothing presence. It's good to be back. upgrade our dodge that dude's gonna he's gonna be so useless he can't do anything Miss. This dude's like the leper, except with even less accuracy and less damage. I'm gonna try and get this objective, but we need Kristoff. Alright, buddy. He doesn't have enough HP.
dude's gonna have to basically crit. He didn't crit. Oh well. We could have gotten that with a rocket launcher shot, but I was being greedy. Too bad. The Nazis are dead, though. Objective completed. Good job, resistance soldiers. Uh, 1%. I'll just use another camouflage. <laughs> I was trying to inch my way closer and closer. Holy shit! Just one shot at the, the big bitch. And that is the ongoing care with Jadwiga. Now you can see the extreme power creep with her. I don't mind uh, going down to stamina. This dude's got great. <laughs> Dare I take it? No. I'm just gonna heal him up. Somebody's gonna get shot by the sniper. We'll take one hit. What the fuck? Alright, we took it. Too bad we don't have Frenic. Frenic is... He's a... He's a... Me, uh, he's more of a supply character. Support. I almost made a mistake of saying medic, but he's not quite like John Bigger. He's different. Alright, do your work. Trzeba to opatrzeć. Thanks for doing nothing. Now we're gonna kill you. <laughs> that was an abrupt end to the fight. <laughs> no, 
whoever didn't agree with me that Torg is the best gun manufacturer, I have something to say to you. Turn five. That's fun. All right. Very abrupt start. Ich gebe Feuerschutz. Schmeichel, Chef. Dat je raden. Sieht so wie Nato Freiesi. Ich gebe Feuerschutz. Ich gebe Feuerschutz. I'm about to gaba you something, alright? Motherfucker. We only got one guy to shove, so let's wait. Uh, what else? What other actions can we take? Not a lot, really. Well, we're, we will need to eventually move him, so let's do it now. Yes, Jadwiga does heal even on missed attacks. It's a Renato Freyesi. Out of them. I do realize the error of my ways there. He, I took two actions to move him so far back, and he only took one. If only Wanda was here, we could get rid of that damn cover. Oh well, we'll probably just have to shoot, shoot straight through it. To be honest with you. That's eh, just a barrel, it's not that bad. If it was brick cover though, I'd be like... <laughs> We're gonna go through our whole reserve of ammo before we get rid of that brick. And he's still gonna be standing. I wonder what she says. John Wiga. Dead. I know I was fucking around a little bit with him. Could have killed him a, te a teensy bit faster, but.
we needed to use up some of that small ammo. Alright, we'll just remember that we have med kits and flares here. We're behind a building, so we're not gonna get detected. We are, though, if we move out this way. You can tell by that eyeball. Facing unforeseen circumstances, you are forced to abort your current endeavor and hastily withdraw your team. One narrow escape later, as you soak your way around the maze of crumbled structures, you notice a change in the atmosphere among your team. Soon enough, the friction bursts into the open. Now I'm bodied in one man in particular, Kristoff. He's always been all too eager to blame your companions for the group's failures, but this time his attention turns to you, and only you. What's the meaning of this, Kristoff? Grinning your teeth at me, huh? The red-faced youth is quick to point out that he perceives about what he perceives as flaws in the Uprising's plans and challenges your decisions. Indignant anger smothers his words as he lashes out against you. The insult to his being personified, with no particular attachment of reason. When he begins lobbing seemingly random insults left and right at anyone within sight, you decide things have gone too far and you reprimand him harshly, reminding of the him yeah. So much spit in my mouth. <clears throat> reminding him of his place in the uprising and order him to stand down. For a brief moment, you feel like the dam has broken and he will punch you with no guard for reality. But he does not. The color of fury drains from his face. He simply averts his eyes, mouthing indistinguishable curses under his breath. It is the visage of, the, of a man humble, but not rectified, and a grudge in the making. You have no doubt this is not the last time you will hear Kristoff behaving like this. For now, however, this should remind him to behave at least slightly more professionally, and hopefully enough to not tarnish the uprising in any way. Objective completed. Now let's move on to clean up the rest of the Nazis here and get some EXP. I see a sniper there in cover, let's move him out of cover and rocket launch his ass. Rocket launch. He's moved into cover solid. I'll, I'll accept that. Oh, he's been... Suppressed, so Jodwig go ahead and take some actions against that sniper boy. She, he didn't hit anyone, he just hit the brick cover. Brick, ladies and gentlemen. Get some. I should make a brick advertisement as like my editing for this thing. That would be great. <laughs> This rocket launch kills the sniper. He's dead. Good work. Das wirst du nicht überleben. Because of that skill, suppression doesn't completely shut down Jotviga. And because of our formation, cover is most likely to spawn in the front. Ha! 
That was brutal. <laughs> Oh, she's suppressed. Alright. He's in cover, so he'll be fine. These two dem uh, an uh, enemies aren't, like, particularly crazy when it comes to damage, so... They like to spread their damage out, and the only guy that can be volleyed... The two characters that can be volleyed, preferably, one of them's got BRICK COVER! The other one's got a couple of wooden crates. BRICK! Sports goods. Now it's 10% less liver damage. Ich jag das Ding in die Luft. Alright, we've been moved twice. You could say that having an officer in your group is move resist. I'd be willing to accept that. Nah, it's not move resist, it's re it's just redeploy. You know, it would be great if like some character like the Jester or something like that had that ability. Uh like maintain formation to redeploy all characters to the default formation. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, that might be a little bit overpowered with the grave robber using a goddamn lunge like four times in one turn, but. But still, it, it would be really cool. That would be something. Re that would be a great character to pair the leper with, or. It would just make parties, uh that don't have anti-shuffle more viable uh, in Darkest Dungeon as a whole. Although, it wouldn't be much of a band-aid to the same exact issue of... Uh... Oh, excuse me. This is gonna stretch. <sighs> It wouldn't be a it it would be a band-aid to the issue of needing uh what's up what is it I'm going for here? I'll just use another one. There's not enough fights close enough to try and stretch this out. Or there's probably not enough. Oh no! An AT trooper! And we don't have any more brick cover! But yeah, with this formation, cover f spawns in the front two rows very freely. So if, uh, Casimirez gets pulled forward, he's fine. If anybody gets pulled forward, they're us they're likely fine. Being cut off from Jadviga's healing. Alright, let's see what we can do. Are these dudes frontliners? No, there's just only one frontliner. Okay. Should we ignore the AT Trooper? Yeah. Because the other two guys are gonna volley the shit out of uh, two of our characters. He took an action this turn, so he's not taking another one next turn. Or, well, I mean, he might take another one next turn, but he's not going to take one for now. What is this? You have moved forward. Have you chosen death, enemy Chan? I'm keeping Jadwiga's stamina mostly untapped for the reasons that we may need to pull off a trip heal if they 
if they do several crits in a row. So her stamina is literally our lifeline. You've got one HP. <laughs> Alright, he's been pulled into cover. And now the two cover characters will get falling. And if we get moved a second time out of position, then we can uh, maintain formation to resist that. So, we're gonna push him forward. Oh, he's suppressed. Alright, well... Man, I didn't want to do this. Alright, well, we'll just shoot him. Taking advantage of the flank shots with the short ammo. Alright, we'll kill this guy and push him back, and it'll force the AT trooper to exchange positions while we kill the enemy. Nice. Can we finish him off this turn? Anybody got 100 accuracy for a shot? 96. Kristoff's a better shot. 100. Man, Kristoff is such a good shot. So many enemies, he has a 100% chance to hit. Man, hell, even above 100% with his basic weapons. And there's a couple of rifles out there that have like plus 30 something accuracy absolutely insane. It's insane. It's more insane than the Last of Us 2 storyline. I could hear Alistair going, "Ooh, That was a low blow, Troy. Yes, it was, but so was their story. Oh! It's a Vinato Friese. Dada! Right, Jadwiga is out of position, and I'm not gonna have that. Not position. <laughs> Get back in position. In the cold. Thanks for destroying our barrel, dude. That I really appreciate that. That that was really nice of you to do. You fucking asshole. <laughs> Alright, we've got a two turn advantage here. Excuse me. Ich jag das Ding in die Luft. I reset first off being moved out of position. He's fine. His stamina's all tapped out anyways. You better not build any cover, goddammit. Alright, good good boy. Dacie rady, będzie dobrze. 
<laughs> he builds cover and us just say, No! Bad sapper! No! It'd be even worse if he built a pile of bricks. That would suck ass. Build a pile of bricks in both of the rank threes? Oh my god, I've had that happen before. There were two snipers, two piles of bricks, rank threes. I had to pull them to the front and just waste so much ammo using full auto and shit over and over. For watch. Kristoff is suppressed, so I have to move him that way. Plus, he's our best shot. Nice shot. And pistols have some, some really high crit chances. What the fuck, man? I mean, it says it's the same, but they score so many damn crits. You tend to feel like it's not the same. <laughs> Boom shakalaka in your face. supplies. We're leaving behind mostly useless shit like flares. I'm cool with that. Oh, it's an event. Drawn in by a hint of human voices, you discover a poorly concealed entrance to a network of artificially merged basements under local townhouses. Down there, oh, you discover a motley congregation of civilians and resistance fighters holding what to see a, a less of a temporary shelter and more of a clandestine tap room. You recognize some of the members of the uprising from personal experience. And while they do not seem overly bothered by your sudden appearance, something tells you they should probably not be here, at least around this hour. Wow. Um... So Kristoff can shut this shit down. Casimira is very charming. Henry, academics. Intuition. Charm them or use our academics. I think we can go with the, the officer. He's the commanding officer here. He understands the situation. As a short history, uh, your teammate steps forward, just delivering what could be des best described as a short history lecture. Although this angle instantly invites many dismissive voices, you can clearly tell the speaker's passionate approach is slowly rubbing off on the audience, inflamed by the remembrance of all those old grudges. A good number of listeners decide to rejoin the uprising. Plus three morale and voila. Ah, uh, the smoke! It's too hard to see! Okay. Oh no, it was a cloud. Boy, these clouds, huh? <laughs> oh shit. To have a cloud be so, uh... 
powerful at stopping you from seeing anything. What was those last two Nazi battles at? Do we miss some of them over here? Probably just left behind a piece of shit player or something. I know there was a med kit back here. I'll take the med kit. Oh, here's one of the Nazi battles. Okay. We must have missed it because it didn't really have an aura and we just thought. Okay. <clears throat> Man, enemies have spawned in straight lines quite a lot. They haven't really been spawning in chunks. Oh, shit! I just realized that dude's at rank 4. Or er, rank 2. Shovel Bash Man. Let's not risk it, let's force him back. There we go. I know for damn sure that uh, either one of these other two, two dudes could take an action. I call them toons. What the fuck? Toads. Toons! Double crit! Alright. When you fumble your words and you just yeah. double crit. Get him back in line and then we'll do it again. I miss Helen so much. Be nice if she was here. Alright, that's two command seals gone. Jadwiga, may, you may do the honors of finishing him off. Ever since we upgraded more accuracy and critical, uh, Kristoff, he's been hitting his shots, and not just hitting, but critting, too. And that's three enemies that he can crit for, like, that he has, like, a 20% chance of critting? That's pretty intense. So we got some, uh, flares and short ammo and stuff left there. Yay, we made it without having to use an extra one. Nice. We're gonna clean house. Oh, we got a Bren Komodo. It's been a while since we've seen you, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Ugly. But we saved plenty of rock for your fat ass, so don't you worry. <clears throat> Small amounts of chip damage like that don't really hurt us so much anymore. And it doesn't tank as many of Jadwiga's actions. Good position. Trust 
Triple kill! Happy! Dacie radę, będzie dobrze. In position. And that means I'm moving to position, or I'm in position. We're able to take all of our actions with DPS characters, and we can, we can save a lot of our uh, other actions for... Um, Jadwiga, she can save her stamina to birth heal when needed. out of cover. Oh, I should have faked him out and suppressed him. Oh well. He's gonna die in three hits anyways. It's just that we had a better chance of killing him in two. I'm gonna fake him out so that way he doesn't move back into cover. Now he's suppressed and being flanked by a very scary character. Kristoff. <clears throat> that dude's got a temper. But we've been using that temper for our good for now. Ninety-nine percent chance to hit. This game has very, very good hit odds. Just letting you guys know. I don't know why I'm taking these things, but I am. Uh, let's go back and get that long ammo. Short ammo, long ammo. It's only two bullets of long ammo. We'll just take the med kit instead, because we're going to be using a lot of meds. Since Wanda died, we literally have nobody except for recruits to rotate out. Yeah, the med kit's worth more. They call them medkits? No, they call them bandages. Yay, Talon. I would 100% give this weapon to Helen if we had her. Hopefully it's time for a new hero. Maybe we can get one. Love thy neighbor. The chatter leads you face first into a spectacle of mob judgment. It appears that the residents of a nearby tenement house have rounded up a handful of their Volksdeutsche neighbors. The roused crowd calls out to your group to deal with the collaborators. Oh, really? Hearing the pleas, you step into the mob and act out their will. The question of severity still remains. However, and some residents call for an alternative form of punishment. EXECUTE THEM! KILL! KILL! 
Hang the collaborators! Hang the collaborators! Without any further ado, you put a bullet in the back of every single Volksdeutsche at your mercy. Although some of the residents are visibly shaken, a murmur of general approval ripples through the crowd. Folks, Deutsche collaborators, huh? Not for long. Day 23, August 1944. They had like a million people to start with, didn't they? It's dropped to 400,000. Imagine that! Half a million people dying in 20 days. I guess you don't need to, guys, huh? Because, you know. Once everybody's gotten their core skills, uh... Alright. So, it would be cool to get aim, but I want max HP. Max HP. Max HP. Jadwiga's already got all of hers. Kristoff, max HP, max HP. If we have the resources for it, I'm gonna do something a little bit stupid. And we, we're gonna need a mission rank for it. But, this episode is run for about an hour. The last one ran long, this one runs a little bit short. So, uh, I'll just preview what we do in the next episode. So, thanks everybody for watching. I appreciate you guys. We're going to have to pull off something for the next episode.